Hey guys, welcome back to Drift Gaming HD. And this time we're gonna be trying a new type of series for my channel, which is gonna be called Big Bad Drift. And the series consists of very big cars being drifted. So we're gonna be buying very like heavy cars and trucks from Force Motor 4 6 and swap them to real wheel drive so we can try to drift them. And for this first episode, uh, which is gonna be either a hit or a miss, because I don't even know if cars can be, uh, are able to drift with so much weight, we're gonna be getting the the Lamborghini LM002, I was thinking, which, uh, there it is, it should be here by the way. So we're gonna scroll down, and here it is. So we're gonna buy in this thing. And, I mean, I've always. Uh, wanted to drift this car in this game, but since we're gonna be drifting in this, is that we'll have to wait. Because we're gonna be real wheel drive swapping this thing, instead of testing its stock, as I usually do with the cars. So, as far as the colors go, I really like the Lamborghini Red, to be honest. It really suits this car and makes it stand out, and I think most of the LM2s that have been sold have this color, at least the ones I've seen in videos and things like that, so, because I, I think these are pretty rare, since they were such a bad hit in the car world, but, yeah, so, yeah, we're gonna go for red, uh, yeah, thank you, and don't worry, I'll be using the wheel cam in the part where we're gonna be driven. Driving, sorry. This so, is your 1986 yeah, Lamborghini LM002. Yeah. Thank you, lady. So yeah, I don't really plug my wheel cam right now because we're gonna be going through the menus and it could, I mean it, it I just see it, I just see it as, as a pointless thing. So uh, let's go to the upgrade show shop and real wheel drive this thing up. So here it is. So it makes our E class go higher. But it's, I mean, I don't think it's gonna be that much of a difference. And we also want to add the differential in order to lock it. Because, I mean, we're gonna have, a, a, we have a lot of torque, but if we lock the differential, we may have that torque better carry out through the rear wheels. So, yeah, I don't know. And as far as cosmetics go, I think this car had like some Forza stuff. Holy shit, what is that? looks so bad, but still kind of cool. Nah, I don't think I'm gonna go for it. Nah, it doesn't really shoot this color. And we could add that, which looks pretty nice. I mean, that is something I may add. And I think it adds like the aerodynamics properties, so... Yeah, we're gonna be adding this thing. And we'll tune it to a speed only, if necessary, but oh my god, this looks so bad. So, yeah, I think we're pretty much ready to go. So, see you in the racetrack. So, here we are, guys. Uh, we're in Rio de Janeiro, the mini circuit. Because since we're running this thing with uh, any horsepower mods done to it, uh, I thought that it was a good idea to to try it in a very small circuit. And the steering feels kind of... Holy crap, I, I didn't want to do that. I'm just readjusting my seat here. So, yeah, let's see how this thing goes. I mean, it really is blocking our view, so we're going to drive in third person. Oh. So, yeah, the first thing you'll notice from this car is that it's heavy. Real heavy. We should maybe have bought some suspension for it. Holy crap. So, yeah, I mean, this is going to be more of an epic fail kind of video. So, we'll see if we, when turning the differential, we get something in the shit. I mean, once you pull the handbrake, this thing doesn't really want, want to give you feedback about anything. I mean, the wheels just go, like, nice. It's kind of weird. So, we're gonna be trying to uh, lock the differential, and maybe we add more pressure in the tires? I'm not sure. I think that's gonna be... Oh, we can adjust the final drive in this car. Uh, no, I don't want that. Maybe I do. We'll go for acceleration since we're gonna be needing the torque. But I may have just screwed that up. 
And as far as this goes, oh, it's almost locked. So, yeah, this seems to be pretty weird. We're gonna get rid of the of the downforce tuning, so we can get as loose as we can. And this thing is pretty damn slow. Yeah, now it's starting to drift. I like that. Maybe it's the thing of the drift, since we have to carry a lot of momentum and holy crap. Yeah, I mean, the balance of this car is really tough, but it's it's part of the series. I mean, I wanted to try if these cars could be any good at drifting. Because, after all, I'm a drifter, so... Yeah, I mean, my politics of drifting, well, my view of, my viewpoint of drifting really consists of driving a lot of cars and once you've driven those cars you can up shit. You then kind of feel what type of car you're comfortable with drifting. And this may not be such an important thing for like controller users, but since I drive only in with the steering wheels and with simulation steering uh, I found it like a pretty important thing to to get in mind. Since whoa ah, I lose a lot of torque when trying to correct it. But, I mean, yeah, uh, if you are a wheel user and you want to try out simulation steering for drifting, you know, for that, the TST and things, uh, and things like that, you definitely have to drive a lot of cars, because maybe you try to drift a car that a lot of people kind of drives online, like it would be a 350C, for example. But that car, it's very difficult to drift compared to another car, like it could be a Dodge Challenger, which they are lovely to drift in stock, but, I mean, yeah, you, if you don't really know how to tune a car to feel perfectly, uh, I would suggest, like, just going and trying out of cars and try to improve overall, <coughs> overall those experiences, but, yeah, well, let's go back to this Lamborghini, and, yeah, that's what we're doing, we're going back. See what I did there? Holy shit. Don't, don't dislike this video. Yeah, please. So... I mean, yeah, maybe what this thing needs is less counter steering. I'm not sure, let's try to go for first gear. And... Yeah. Okay, so... Now it feels like a boat. Like a proper boat. Which is fun, anyway. It looks so funny. I mean, in my opinion, I think this car is pretty cool looking. But I've heard some shit. I mean, the social control, it's a very important thing with the, when drifting this car. I mean, it may seem stupid, since my, my intuition is telling me to, to like gas it out in its corner, but if you give it too much trouble in a, car, in a turn, it's gonna spin out like that. and. It's it's a pretty pretty interesting car to, to be drifting with and has its own technique for sure. But yeah what I was saying is that I heard that this car uses the Wajri Folio Verde uh, engine from the I think it was called like that, yeah, the the engine that the Lamborghini Countach used. The Countach uh, QV, Wally Folio Verde. So yeah, I mean I think it made this this kind of car be uh, very unreliable for the army, which is the the target Lamborghini had. Like they want to make a proper off-roading car for the army, the Italian army, I think it was. So yeah, I mean this this motor, although being very powerful, it was pretty inconvenient for for repairing in the middle of the action and things like that. But uh, it didn't sell that much in the public. I think like. Ram well, um, Sylvester Stallone bought one, or boost the, the brand to, to make it public so he could buy one. But that's pretty much it, really. It's just a collector's thing right now. And, ah, shit, I can't get the hang of this. I mean, maybe with some tuning and like buying suspension and things like that, we can make this car go sideways, but I mean, I don't think I'm gonna be putting that much time in this car. So. Ah, uh, yeah, we got it. I mean, 
it feels like a tank, really, like even a really, like, huge thing. So this Lamb Rambo, it's it's fun. At least, I mean, uh, if you spend some time tuning this thing, it could be a pretty strong car in Drift Lovers because it doesn't drift bad. The only thing is that it's pretty much an off-road vehicle and. And it's uh, pretty heavy. If you're gonna mod this to be like a proper drift car, I would recommend like going for the weight reduction straight on. Uh, and uh, yeah, so buy the the weight reduction and maybe add more horsepower and lower it as low as possible. And make the sprints the toughest, I mean the, the strongest uh, setup you can. And that may be a pretty good car because. Usually cars with weight are pretty are more predictable than lightweight cars because the counter steer is usually uh, like slower. Um, oh my god, we're getting this shit. He's sort of spun out there. And maybe what this thing needs is more clutch kicks. But I mean, I, I don't know. It doesn't feel bad. I mean, it feels like it has potential. It feels like a really nice stock drift car. It hasn't really been tuned yet and yeah. That entry is killer. You have to be very precise with it. But it's a pretty fun car. I mean I would try to I would like to try this car stock and and see if it has a practical use on racing but I mean it doesn't really have the torque to drift stock at least. Maybe more power and I mean yeah the, this car for drifting will need a pretty much a full modification in every aspect. Except for tires and I think they are okay. I mean they are off road tires and shit. Well at least this car is invisible. I don't think it got any scratch. Well it has some scratches in the paint, but I don't think this car can be really destroyed in this game. I mean that may be something we'll try out. So yeah, there isn't anything much to say about this car. Oh, fuck, I mean, I'm, I'm so nervous in this, in this car for some reason. I mean, I just feel like I don't have enough torque. We are actually going sideways. But it's something to get used to. So, I mean, tell me in the comments what type of big car you want to see in this series being made. Because there is like the Lamborghini Euros and, and some other interesting cars that are pretty big. And maybe very competitive in this kind of drifting thing with big cars, the big bad drift kind of story. But yeah. So yeah, just tell me in the comments if you want to see your favorite plan over things like that. I mean, I'm pretty sure I'm gonna be doing things like the Rally Fighter since the Rally Fighter already comes in blue wheel drive and has a lot of torque for the other kind of thing. So. That may be something I, I would do in the future, so yeah, just leave me in the comments what you want to see next, and I'll be trying to make it uh, into a video, so yeah, thank you guys for watching, and well, before we end the video, let's let's try to do a clean run, since we shit, uh, well, yeah, in the next lap it will be a clean run, so let's go ahead and try this high speed. It actually worked. That was pretty good. So let's try to go this corner without. Ah, uh, no boom spin. Shit. <sighs> Maybe I should have gone to, into first. But I don't think that really gives him anything. No problem. So, yeah, so thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to give a like and yeah, tell me in the comments what, what card you want to see next in this Big Bad Drift kind of series and which other games that you want me to play because I mean, I feel like uh, I should be doing more videos in the crew while I run, but I don't really have much resources in game as far as uh, credit to go and things like that. But I mean, they added a lot of new updates, like, and now we have the RX7 in Drift Spec, and I want to try that thing out so. Yeah, I mean, just tell me in the comments and suggest me what what you want to see from this channel. So, I mean, again, thanks you for watching and see you in the next video. Oh shit.